Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyOnMarketing.com. In this video, we're talking about catalogs in the Facebook or Meta Ads Manager. So if you're creating ads, you might've noticed that there's an option and lots of options for catalogs. So if you came and you created a campaign, for example, you may see an option to use a catalog and you can use a catalog to reach the people most likely to engage with your products. You can also select your catalog at the ad level to use as ad creative only. And so if you flip this on, you'll get a bunch of different options at the ad level. It's like different things for ad setup and ad creative and all this other cool stuff that pulls information directly out of your product catalog. And this can be great for retargeting campaigns because Facebook has all this information. It can see your catalog and it can show people products and or services that you have that are most likely to convert with that individual. So there's a bunch of cool options if you use a catalog. Additionally, let me come back out here and turn off this catalog option and we'll go back to the ad area and we can scroll on down here to instant experiences. So I have another video on instant experiences and in that video we talk about using a catalog in your instant experience. So you could use that catalog to show your products and services in the instant experience if you have one of those set up. Additionally, if you have a catalog, you'll be able to tag those products and services in your posts and videos that you post on your business's Facebook page. And then people could hover over it and see that it's a product and they could click on it and go get more information and buy that product. So there's quite a few cool things you can do with catalogs. And so we'll talk about how to actually set up a catalog in this video. So Coming into your ads manager area and on the left hand side we want to go ahead and click on this all tools option right here and we want to scroll on down to commerce manager so all the way at the bottom commerce manager and if you have more than one business account be sure to double check which one is there because for some reason sometimes it switches business accounts on you and it can be very confusing but anyway you should be on a page that looks like this that has assets so we have commerce accounts and if you hover over this eye it gives a little description of what this is so use commerce accounts to sell from customizable storefronts on facebook and instagram each commerce account is connected to one catalog with your inventory and so going through this process right here basically creates creates a store where you can sell products and services directly through Facebook and Instagram. And so it's pretty cool and I'll probably create another video about it later on. So check out my channel if you're interested in that. And as you can see down below, we have our catalogs here. So hovering over the eye, we see that you use a catalog to upload and manage your inventory. You need a catalog to add items to your shop or to feature items in your ad. So that's what we wanna go ahead and do. So we'll go ahead and click on add catalog right here. And we can go ahead and select our catalog type. So we have e-commerce, travel, real estate, and auto. I'm gonna go with e-commerce in this example, but obviously select what's relevant to you. And then we have online products, or if you have a local business, you could use the local products option. So this catalog uses location information to promote local inventory products or services. So that can be very powerful if you have that type of information, but we'll go online products and click on next. And now we get into the upload method right here. So we could go ahead and upload our product information. So add your items manually or in bulk or use your Metapixel. And then there's also the connect a partner platform where you automatically import items using a partner platform like Shopify, BigCommerce and more. And we can see all the partner platforms right here. So there's a bunch of them like Shopify, GoData Feed, we got WooCommerce, Magento, OpenCart, all right here. So if you use any of these partner platforms I definitely recommend doing it through the partner platform because it'll pull in all your information directly from your store into Facebook and it'll sync everything up and it'll keep track of inventory and all that type of information and it'll also create one of those commerce stores that we saw on the previous page. So it'll do all that stuff for you in the background automatically and it's very, very useful and helpful and alleviates a lot of pain. So if you can use a partner platform, definitely do that option. But in this video, we're gonna go ahead and use the manual method right here. So now we select the catalog owner. So that's just your business name and mine's the FB ads course. And then we can go ahead and name our catalog. So I have catalog for video here and now go ahead and click on create. And just like that, my catalog is created. We'll go ahead and view the catalog now. And now we have several options on the left-hand side right here. So we have items, sets, issues, data sources, events, and then ads, shops, and settings. So we'll go through a few of these real quick. First, I wanna go ahead and start with data sources. So I'm gonna click in here. And so you can go ahead and choose your preferred option. So again, I'm gonna be doing a manual entry in this particular video, but there's also data feed. So you could use a spreadsheet or a file to add and update your items automatically. And so this is kind of cool because it can pull from Excel or Google Sheets. So if you have your inventory on a Google Sheet and you're tracking it that way, you could go ahead and connect that sheet to Meta right here and it'll automatically pull 
pull the information from that data sheet and you could go ahead and download a template and make sure that you fill in all the required information so that way everything will sync properly between your sheet and the meta platform. So if you have a lot of products and services and you're not using one of their partner platforms, then the data feed could be a very useful option for you. Then of course there's partner platform like we already talked about where you could use Shopify or BigCommerce or WooCommerce or something like that. And if you have those platforms, definitely do that because it saves a lot of time. And then there's the pixel option where you use your meta pixel to automatically add items from your website. And I have found this to be super confusing and hard to control. So I stay away from this method because it's just too cumbersome and I can't quite figure it out. But let's go ahead and stick with manual and we'll click on next here. And so a lot of this is pretty self-explanatory. We come over here, we can add our images. So we can go ahead and drag and drop a file to upload and you can add multiple images for your product if you want to. We'll go ahead and click on save. And so we can go ahead and choose a file on our device and let me navigate to one. And I actually uploaded two images. So you can upload multiple images here. We can go ahead and click on save. And then we'll go ahead and add a title and a description of the product that you're selling. And then you wanna go ahead and include a link to your product. And then you can go ahead and add your price in here. So again, self-explanatory stuff, $14.95. And we could also add a sale price so you can make it look like it's on sale or if it's actually on sale, you could go ahead and do it like that. So we'll just say that it is actually 99 cents and we'll scroll on over here. So Facebook product category and you wanna stick it into a category that's most relevant and specify the condition, availability, status, brand. So I'm gonna add a brand. And then content ID is usually like a SKU or other unique identity fire that you'll have and you can see that it's optional right here and let me go ahead and scroll back over so as you can see you can also delete this row so if you want to delete a product you just click the trash can and then there's also the option to add a variant or duplicate the item so I'm gonna click on add variant real quick and maybe this one would be the book plus audio book so it includes both right here I'm gonna leave everything else the same just for the sake of time and example well of course maybe the price is a little bit more so this is usually $24.99, but now it's only $3.99 or something like that. And I'll leave it under books and in stock and everything else stays the same. If you have multiple variants of something, you could go ahead and add variants or you know just add new items. And that way you can have multiple items. So I'm gonna add one real quick and I'm all happy with that. So I can go ahead and upload my items now and my products are being uploaded. And so there we go, my items are now created and I can see that this one has two variants. So I could go ahead and click that and see both variants that I have. So moving on down the menu over here, we have sets as well. So you can go ahead and create sets of products. Like if you want to have like multiple categories or something like that with your products, you could go ahead and establish them here. Now I only have two products, so it's not letting me create a set. If you have more products than I have, you'd be able to create sets and keep your products organized. And you could also use those sets when you're creating your ads because you'd be able to select that set to advertise. So that way you're advertising a particular set versus all the products in your entire store. So sets can be very useful, especially if you have a bunch of products that you're trying to offer. We have issues then, and so this will show any errors that are going on. And I'll see this sometimes with data sources. If you upload a Excel file or a Google Sheet, Sometimes you might do something wrong and it gets messed up on the import. And so you see an issue message over here if that happens. And then we have events over here. And so this would be, so you can set up product tracking. So connect a Metapixel or app SDK to track the products people are interacting with on your website. If the interactive products are in your catalog, they can be used to run retargeting ads. So let's go ahead and set this up. So connect to tracking, and I'm gonna go ahead and select my SEM training data source right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this connection on and save. And I get a little message right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on dismiss. But you definitely wanna have this active because it'll improve your retargeting performance if you're using catalogs. So then we have ads right here. And basically when you go through this process, it's going to pull you over to the ads manager. And I have a ton of videos on the ads manager. So check out my channel if you need help with that. And then we have shops like I talked about previously. So this will let you be able to sell products directly through Facebook or Instagram. Now, if you have like Shopify and you connect your store to your meta account, it'll automatically create the shop for you. However, since we're doing stuff manually, you would have to manually create a shop. And that's a whole nother topic in video. So I'm not gonna go into great detail on it here, but just know that this option is available to you. And finally, we have settings down here and it's just some basic settings. So general for language and catalog settings, which includes things like image cropping and notifications and then business assets, which describes which meta business account you're using and your ads channels and things like that. 
So anyway, that's how you go ahead and create a catalog so you can start taking advantage of the different features that catalogs offer. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. Sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazarmarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.